From 1974 to 2024, almost 30 years after the island of Kachadivu was ceded to Sri Lanka by the then Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, the discussion over this bilateral agreement continues. The Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, had retweeted a Times of India article about an RTI reply that shows how Indira Gandhi ceded the island to Sri Lanka. He wrote, and I quote, New facts reveal how the Congress callously gave away Kachativu, weakening India's unity, integrity and interests has been Congress's way of working for 75 years and counting. Now, the Congress and the DMK were quick to respond. The Congress party chief, Malakarjan Kharge, has said that the Prime Minister has suddenly woken up to issues of territorial integrity. The DMK said it was wrong to talk about the issue without studying its history, and that the DMK at that point had held with statewide agitations against the island being ceded to Sri Lanka. Now, External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar today spoke out about the history of the tussle over the island and the discussions that have been had since. Listen in to what the External Affairs Minister had to say about India's claims versus Sri Lanka's claims on the island. India's claim is mainly that the Kachatibu island belonged to the uh, Raja of uh, Ramnath uh, and that he had it from the time that East India Company uh, assigned it to him. It was part of his zamindari rights, and these rights also included fishery, uh, and uh, also that uh, later on these rights moved from the Raja of Ramnath to the Madras government. A second argument was that uh, during uh, the after independence, for many years, Indian customs regularly went to Kachatibu, and uh, you know uh, they, they, this was not obstructed. Uh, and uh, the Indian view also was that. Uh, there was absence of any documentary evidence to show that Sri Lanka had an original title to Kachatim. So these were largely the Indian arguments. The Sri Lankan argument, which also this document, which uh, has been obtained under RTI, has released, was that, according to them, they have records which go back to the uh, 17th century, and that uh, they also feel there were some conferences where uh, which the uh, which looked at their claim uh, in a more positive manner this is their claim it is only for elections what kachati for 10 years what mr modi was doing what jay shankar was doing what jay Shankar, how many fishermen's boats has been taken over who will answer it jay shankar has to answer it he should resign first because of their uh, ineffectiveness how many boats has been uh, destroyed by the Indian uh, Sri Lankan uh, army? We still now there are 200 boats that have been captured by the Sri Lankan uh, Navy. What about that thing? Who will ask it? They will speak about 1970. 